Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Certification. You are in chapter 3 and we are looking at the last topic of this particular series that is 3.4.6 Cloud Computing and Virtualization Tools. In this particular tutorial we'll be just having a small point to discuss about these two concepts and specifically understanding that what these two tools can be helpful for. So originally we talk about cloud computing and virtualization. Hopefully you would have heard of these terms before that what is cloud cloud applications and virtualization. So generally these two are a little different concepts when it comes to the application processing. Uh, generally when you talk about virtualizations, these are uh, specific to cloud services when a particular server can be broken into multiple ports and can be used in different resources. So the best example to understand this at a small level is just like, you know, how, how you try to make use of a remote server where exactly the server is not at you, not, not at your place, you're not directly connected to it, and it might be at some other location at a different city or maybe different country, and you can access sitting it right from here in your own city. So generally when you talk about accessing LinkedIn, Google, Facebook, they all have these kind of virtualization concept where the parent server might be might be in any particular city of the country or maybe abroad as well. But when you try to access it bro breaks that server into different links and those links are accessible to you locally based on your city. So by default when you make a search on Google it basically turns up to be the nearest search options because of your virtualization. Now that server is probably say for example you are in Delhi and the server lies in Bangalore then maybe when you make a search in uh, Delhi they'll always the first priority will be given to the local residents or local area inputs on your query. How that happens? Because of virtualization. Because now this physical server which is there in Bangalore has given you different options to be distributed into different segments and then locally search criteria are met. And that's what we generally talk about virtualization tools. So we do get virtualization tools as well which can assist your agile methodology in terms of accessing an application which you're trying to build. And that could be another part of uh, testing as well which will help us to understand what if this application is accessed from different location by different people and maybe the server would be lying in one particular corner of the country and everyone is accessing from different location then how does it work and it also helps uh, the team to uh, uh, allow to utilize their time efficiently because in case you're looking for a physical server just to test it it's of no use it could be not cost effective as well and maybe it would take a lot of time to set up the servers again and again every sprint you go ahead with this so that could be again a time consuming process so rather we make use of virtualization tool which could be quite useful and similar way the cloud computing concepts come to ensure that because the server does not lie physically in front of you or maybe you're not directly connected to it so the cloud computing concepts will get into that to uh, help you uh, access those uh, virtualized servers so these tools also come with a uh, additional facilities like snapshots which generally allows you to take the entire system configuration snapshot. These are no ordinary snapshots just like taking a screenshot or something. No. When you use the snapshot option in a virtualization tool it basically means that capturing all the information of that configuration environment setup or the activities what you were performing what version you were working on everything the network details the hits per second what communication between the server and the client was happening all this information will be captured as a part of snapshot which could probably be shared with the developers to uh, uh, help them understand the issue when you were doing that particular testing so that could also help in terms of virtualization which comes with an additional benefit so that's what we have from this particular tool team and that was really great having you on board uh, to make you understand about the agile methodology this is uh, the last topic of this particular session we'll be having one more tutorial in this series that is the sample questions of chapter 3 and we'll be winding up this particular series so if in case you have any questions feel free to comment below i'll be there to assist you thanks for watching the video team Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding. Happy learning, team.